Hi, Moritz Sani here, right from the Comprion HQ in Paderborn, Germany, the arguable heart of Germany. In case you don't know about us, we are the first you should ask when you're looking for test solutions for NFC, eSIMs, smartphones and payments. So let's start with today's question. How do you create eSIM profiles without manually executing every single command back to back? Let me give you a real life example why this is an issue. Live and active profiles that have already been provisioned need to be frequently equipped with new apps and that requires testing. Because these apps are dependent on proprietary elementary files and those files can't be handled with just copy and paste, unfortunately. You need to use certain commands to create those files over the air. And since you need to test everything, you might need to, you know, retry things a couple of times and undo and redo steps and so on and so forth. So executing every single command step by step can take a lot of time and be a real nuisance. And we don't want that. That's inefficient. We can just avoid these repetitive steps by creating a sequence of commands that we can save and reuse and even send to our colleagues if we want. But talking of working efficiently, we did a video about how to compose eSIM profiles by reusing older profiles in a time-effective way, which is worth checking out. And you can do so by clicking the link up here. All right, now let's boot up the EYCC Profile Manager. Okay, so just as a heads up of what we're about to see, we want to build a customized command sequence according to our hypothetical test requirements. So in this example, we'll create a dedicated file that contains three elementary files. So we select command sequencer, which we can find under the explorer feature and add a new command sequence and, you know, give it a proper name. Okay, first up, we want to create the dedicated file and we do so by picking add, command apdu and then choose from the specification that we need. And um, yeah, then create file. And of course, we want to give it a descriptive name and put in the respective um, command data. Okay, and now we can add the elementary files. And like, just like we did before, we go to add command apdu and create another file. Um, and again, we described it with a proper name and fill in the command data. So let me do that real quick. So now that we have the first elementary file, we can speed up our process here because we just need to, you know, add two more. So we can just duplicate our first one here and change it up so we have the proper uh, name and the proper command data. So let me do this real quick as well. All right, now that we have everything ready to go, let's execute the whole sequence. And here we go. The results are looking good and we could share them now actually if we want to or import them um, if someone else has sent them to us, um, we can just do so by clicking the import or export button. And that's it. With the command sequencer feature of the EYCC profile manager, we can stack commands, execute them all at once. And then when everything is ready and probably set up, we can save it and then send it to whoever we want to send it to. Saves a lot of time, and most importantly, saves a lot of nerves. See you in the next one.